Top Tip Tuesday time again, it's Bob here from Insidium. On today's video, we're going to be breaking down one of the shots from our Black Friday advert. This time, we're going to make a really nice kind of organically animating terrain. And this is using Terraform effects. So, let's get started. In our scene, we have this terrain. And if we have a look in the object tag, you can see here are the dimensions. And it's quite low segment count, 1,000 by 1,000. We'll increase that later. Right, we're going to create some undulations with an operator. Let's go to the Add Operator tab, add a TF Noise. We're going to use this in Advanced Mode. This uses a base noise for the shape and then fractal detailing for all of the fine detail. So let's just switch the octaves off of our fractal so we just see the base noise. And we're going to go with... A purlin noise and at first we're going to put this scale on 130 but we'll actually be animating this in a bit let's go to the operator tab we need more gain on this maybe a hundred centimeters yeah back to properties and now that we've got that base noise let's get our fractal detail we're going to use below which gives us quite a cool look and what we're going to do here is we're going to do a couple of things we're going to increase the octaves and put our persistence up to say 85 which adds a lot of detail but then we're going to reduce this lacunarity that's going to reduce um, some detail yeah and we get something that looks a little bit like this but this is going to come alive when we add some warping especially some on fractal warping so let's select that let's put this on if you have a keep an eye in the viewport you'll see it starts to warp that fractal we get some pretty interesting shapes going on we don't need to go too mad on this let's say 90. now we're going to get that nice kind of organic movement effect just by animating this scale value so let's go to the first frame put a keyframe on 130. last frame we'll put a keyframe of maybe 220 and we need this to be a linear animation it'll be um uh, it'll be a uh, easy ease by kind of default so let's right click animation and we'll show track here's our track with our keyframes selected uh, automatically and look so we've got spline mode which gives gives us kind of a bezier interpolation we want linear mode this button so click this button and now if we hit play there we go we've got that growing effect and if we go into the scene camera you'll see it happening very nice let's just switch on this redshift sky and sun so we get some nice shadowing in the viewport right now we need some detail so we're going to go to um in fact before we do the detail let's get our trough made so we're going to go to tf terrain we're going to do it with a gradient operator and if i just switch off the noise you can see by default it's set to radial and it's making this small radial bump let's go to the operator tab and increase that gain up to say 220 so this has just created this peak but we want a linear um, type of uh, gradient so let's change it to linear when i come out the camera we've got this slope but it's facing away from where the camera's pointing so we need to rotate it so let's go to the gradient coordinates just rotate it by 90 degrees yep that's what we want so now we've got this slope but we need to make a, a, a trough, not a slope. So let's go to the gradient properties tab. We'll first of all make this much wider, say 2000 width. And then let's get this profile spline. And instead of it being a slope, we can just move that back there. Hold control, click at a point, bring this down for the base in the middle and then widen out these handles. And we've got something that's starting to resemble our trough very good let's go into our camera to get an idea of that yeah that's looking good we could perhaps make it slightly wider now let's activate that noise and now we've got this trough of animating noise and there you can see the effect starting to uh, starting to take place now we need some detail let's go to train add another tf noise this one we're going to um leave it in these in fact no look what we're going to do is we're going to go with a cellular which is a bit like a, a a voronoi noise and with this cellular what we're going to do is increase this jitter amount to 100 percent we can leave this default 
But look, if we go to our warping, let's put our fractal warping back on. And as I increase this, you're going to see this canyoning effect start to happen. Yeah, it's looking very cool. The only thing is we want this to be cutting inwards not raising above the surface so let's go to the operator and in the gain let's put a minus amount minus 20 and that's now cutting in it's cutting in these furrows into the uh, ground now this isn't very high resolution yet so um, it's not looking particularly detailed and it's a bit faceted so let's go to our terrain now and up the segments go to the object tab and we'll put our segments on 3000 by 3000 yes look at that detail that's come in doesn't that look good now we just need to smoothen this off a little bit and we can do that with a blur let's go to train add operator tf blur we'll go to the properties change it to gauze which is a higher quality blur look it brings some of that detail back in very cool this is looking very nice now uh, we're pretty much there let's just go to our redshift render view and we'll just dock this over here and hit render so this is going to render it without any materials on just now but we'll get an idea of how this looks with a bit of depth of field that's set up and that's that really interesting landscape and then finally you can dig into how this material was set up in the scene file but basically let's put it on it uses a redshift curvature node to identify those furrows that we made and color them with these two different colors um, that's looking really cool so that's how we can simply set up uh, terraform effects with tf noise to generate these really nice animating landscapes